everyone, welcome back to Enchanted Bayou. My name is Cassandra, and if you're new here, thank you for clicking on this video and joining us. Today we are going to talk about Jeffree Star, and I don't know if everyone knows who Jeffree Star is. Um, I would think pretty much most people would by now, but if you're not too much into makeup or the YouTube community, you might have missed them. Jeffree Star is actually a huge YouTuber, and he became famous a long time ago. He was a singer, and then later on he started his own makeup company. And so he is a very, very large YouTuber. And today I want to talk about him because he recently this year bought a new house. And in this new house, he has captured a ghost on his security cameras. So how do we know about all this? Well, there's another YouTuber named Rylan Adams, and Rylan actually started a new podcast called The Sip on YouTube, and he just had Jeffree Star on, and on that podcast, they actually showed the video that I'm going to show you here of a little ghost girl walking through Jeffree Star's new garage. So let's go ahead and watch that clip real quick. Speaking of your big house, are there any spirits in it? Are you, oh. is it haunted? What's the history of um, your house? There was, there was a, uh, like a ghost of a child in the garage <laughs> for like a month, but like, or two months, but she's, what? but she's gone. And I don't understand why she left. My security guard, Colin, who you know from our series, uh -huh. he, um, caught it on camera. Pure. Did you do anything or did you just not pay it much um, mind? I had like a, like a spiritual advisor person. Um, they had like a full moon and they like prayed and had a whole ceremony and we like did a whole thing at my house. And then we had, we fully saged it and had a moment. Yeah. Um, and I felt nothing but good energy. You can't, that's something you can't visually deny. I know. Isn't that an amazing clip? I thought it was just, wow. I was really impressed with it. Now the sad thing though, that I thought was sad anyway, and maybe it's because I'm a little bit crazy, but the sad thing is, is that he, he called a person kind of like me and had them come in and cleanse his home to get rid of any spirits that would be walking around his house. And I was really worried about this little girl. He said that things felt much better and he hasn't seen anything or had any problems with any spirits since this person came through and cleansed his house. And by cleanse his house, if you don't know, it's really going through and saging but there's so much more so be careful if you're out there and you're just trying to sage a house it really depends on what spirits are in your house what's going on in your house if you can just sage and if everything is okay and there's also right ways to sage and really bad ways to sage so always consult an expert i would definitely say if you're going to do any saging but saging is thought to cleanse out any negative energy, any spiritual energy, and move that off of your property basically or the area that you cleanse. So he did call someone in to have this done and the little girl I guess has gone away. And I was a little, like, a little worried about this little girl because I wanted to know is she okay? Is she safe? What's going on with her? And I thought that it would be a really cool video if we asked Ethan and E. Now, who are Ethan and E if you're new here? Okay, if you're not new here, you've heard their voices a thousand times, you've heard me talk about them a thousand times, and I'm so sorry about that, but you're gonna have to listen one more time on this for all the new people. Ethan and E are actually my spirit guides, or some people will call them their guardian angels, and they are my main two. You can have 50 if, if need be, it depends on what's really going on in your life at the time, but they are my main two that are always with me and they always help me out and they love doing spirit box sessions so that's why we do a lot of them. They get really bored if I don't do this. We're gonna do a spirit box session and ask them if they could do something that's kind of unique. I don't like to do it too often but I think we're going to do it in this circumstance and maybe a couple others coming up too. Uh, what I don't like to do is send Ethan and E to someone else's house that's having spirit spiritual problems or issues and then have them check on what's going on at that house and then come back. And the reason is, is they brought some of their own attachments back that later became a problem for me and my family when they've done this. But given the fact that he's had his house cleaned 
and it hasn't been anything you know mischievous going on in his house I think we're gonna be safe to do it this time so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to ask them to go ahead and go to Jeffree Star's house and find out about this little girl is she still on the property I mean did they just clean the house did they clean the property but is she still on the property and what is she doing there uh, Jeffree Star said that he had looked into it and there's no records of a little girl passing away on the property but that doesn't mean that she can't be from down you know the neighborhood or down the street a little ways so I really had some questions about this little girl and then I also thought it would be kind of fun to ask Ethan and E if there's other spiritual activity going on in the property and so we're gonna do that today and the way that I talk to Ethan and E now lots of times I'll be able to hear them and you'll be able to hear them too because my mic on my camera will actually pick them up while I'm sitting here talking to you guys but the best way to hear them and the best way to talk to them is through what's called a PSV7 spirit box just this little thing right here as you can see mine's getting a little old and worn out probably time to get a new one just connected with the regular cord and it doesn't really matter what speaker you connect it to I like my old clunky JBL works great for my purposes so what we're gonna do I'm gonna ask them to go over to Jeffrey's house kinda do an investigation in fact I'll tell you a secret I already asked them to go over there and then see what they have to say about what's going on at his house now before we get into that though a couple of things first of all big time warning for anyone who's wearing headphones because this is going to get very loud spirit boxes I know that this is one of the loudest spirit boxes out there I apologize for that a lot of weaker spirits have a hard time using different spirit boxes that don't allow them all the noise to be able to utilize to come through so that's why I choose this spirit box that's why you'll see people like the ghost adventures choose a spirit box it's really proven to be the best spirit box I think at least for my purposes it has the other thing is is that if you like Jeffree Star and maybe you're a fan of Rylan Adams or Shane Dawson make sure to subscribe to this video because I don't know if you're aware of this but Shane and Rylan's house they actually moved to a newer house they have spirits in their newer house that they moved into I think it was this year that they moved into it but they also had spiritual activity and haunting in their previous house so I have some questions and wanted to send Ethan and E over there too and we need to ask you know are those spirits following them around are they attachments are they connected to the house I'm going to be doing all that in an upcoming video so make sure that you subscribe to this channel turn on the little notification bell and let's jump into all of this and see what we can find out about Jeffree Star's haunted house okay going to get loud like I said here's the second warning we're gonna turn it on Oh, 
loud very talkative seems like they had a lot to say I'm not gonna know everything that they say until I go through it but by this point in the video you guys would already seen it so I hope you really enjoyed that spirit box session I know it was really short but I just had a few questions about his little ghost girl and again we're going to talk to them about going over to Shane Dawson and Rylan Adams house and find out what's going on over there so make sure to subscribe turn the notification bell on and also check out all the cool merch that we have over at teespring.com slash enchanted by you again hope you guys enjoyed it hope everyone's doing good and happy holidays i love y'all i will be talking to you very soon bye